There we go. This uh, this one I feel like was maybe uh, I'm not gonna say it again, but it feels like a certain win to the level of season and size that I said last game was. But this was a very important game because Tampa Bay had had our number. We now had a losing record to them after blowing three games in a row against the uh, Tampa Bay Lightning. So this game feels like a much needed uh, bounce back, especially the slow start. Now I noticed Reimer getting a lot of hate. I actually don't mind the decision to start Reimer. Has Nedeljkovic been the better goaltender of the two since Morazic got hurt? Absolutely. But does it change to me uh, the fact that Reimer is a solid backup for Carolina right now? No. Reimer, and I thought Reimer played well other than the second goal of the game. That was his fault. I don't like blaming the goalie. That one was on him, though. Uh, and then after the first period, as they got fired up, you know, they uh, and then the other battle was uh, net fund presence, which I don't blame on the goalie at all. You'd like Reimer to bail you out. But then, you know, after those first two goals, Carolina took over this game, and it was beautiful to watch. Uh, it was uh, This is one of the best games Carolina's played all year. Uh, which they tend to be playing very well against Tampa, which I think does bode well for us uh, in the coming uh, playoffs. Playoffs uh, uh, in the future. So, you know, uh, I mean, and then this was really Marty Natchez's coming out party. If he didn't have that already, um, oh, today was Pride Night. I probably shouldn't say coming out because that's, you know, but you know, this was the uh, the coming out party. For uh, Marty Natchez, um, pun clearly not intended, uh, you know, but uh, I, uh, I, um, and you know, I'm glad people enjoy Pride Night, so, uh, uh, but yeah, Marty Natchez, uh, he, uh, he, he was obviously Hurricane of the Game, this felt like his show, I actually don't think the commentators gave Brett Pesci enough, uh, enough credit on the first goal because that was a beautiful breakout pass on the delayed penalty. I think Svechnikov played very well, got a point out of the game, maybe two. He might have gotten the second assist off of uh, Natchez's uh, off of the game winner. So, you know, it's just Carolina played really well. The special teams were flying and everything, and Ajo and Natchez continued to click. And when you add Tara Vinen back to that line, as long as uh, one of as long as they're not playing the same wing or one of them can play on the off wing just fine, that bodes well. And then you can bump Niederreiter down, so you got Niederreiter, Stall, and Svech. You know Niederreiter's been on fire. Svech, I, I actually don't think Svech has played bad. He just can't score, but he's doing everything else. So maybe Niederreiter can get Svechnikov going. Uh, but Svechnikov is doing everything but scoring. The fact that he's not getting goals doesn't bother me because he's still he's still getting assists. Like he's not going through a cold streak because he's not scoring. He's still getting points on a regular basis. I think like once every two games he'll get an assist. Maybe once at one point once every one point five games he's getting an assist. Like that's fine for me. Like that's I think that's playing really good hockey. And I don't think that's underproducing. Uh, but yeah, they came out flying. You know they and. Come playoff hockey, which Tampa, when they play Carolina, it feels like playoff hockey. The fact that Carolina is able to match hit for hit with uh, Tampa Bay, I really like to see. Uh, I, I want there to be a fight. I don't think we've seen a real hockey fight. And as much as I like scrums, I want to see a hockey fight, man. We're getting the hits. We're getting the goals from a fan. Let, let's drop the gloves here. Come on, let's go. I want, I want, I want the fighting. Uh, I've seen fights, you know, watching other teams, but... I thought Pocket and Gord were going to fight, which I'm really not starting to like Gord because he's hitting my teammates. I think he's a clean player, but I don't like Gord anymore. Uh, I'd like him on my team. Uh, you know, so, but yeah, this all in all was just top to bottom, great team effort, and obviously uh, Marty Natchez uh, just thrived tonight to me like it just he, he was something else he got two goals two assists it's uh he his chemistry with oh you know i think ea sports they get a lot wrong in their playoff ratings marty nature is being medium elite maybe not one of them so uh, yeah, I've already given Hurricane the game away, but you know comment down below. What do you guys uh, think about the game? 
Uh, what do you guys want to see the Hurricanes improve on going forward? For me, I will say the thing the Hurricanes need to improve on is net front presence and the defensive end. Uh, I think that's clearly the biggest flaw for the Carolina Hurricanes game. But, uh, yeah, after that, I'll, uh, and Paquette getting a goal against his old team. I love Paquette. The fourth line. I'm, I'm going to talk about the fourth line. I did not give him their proper due last game. The Natchez, Geeky is, I think Paquette's on the third line now. But that, like, Paquette's line with, you know, Geeky is with uh, Paquette. The Paquette, Marty, uh, and Geeky line. I adore that line. Uh, you know, like, that they're just, they're so much fun to watch. I think they're the perfect quintessential thing you look for in a fourth line which how which you might not think is important but how many times have you been watching uh the conference finals or um or the stanley cup finals and they always point out what a great fourth line they have so the fact that carolina has a really good fourth line again just this is this is the thing like the reason why i'm not commenting on the game as much because like for all intents and purposes we know where we're fitting in terms of playoff picture or not. So it's kind of like you want to focus ahead to me. And when I see positive, so more so I'm watching the game now, I'm watching to see positive aspects towards playoff hockey than negative aspects toward playoff hockey and how Carolina can improve going into the playoffs. Uh, Because I feel like we know what to expect from the Hurricanes in, in the regular season. And now it's time to see what they can do. Obviously, as long as they can make it, which given the fact that they're in the President's Trophy hunt, I don't think they're going to win it because the Hurricanes are allergic to the President's Trophy. But um, just they're in that hunt, so that's very good. So now that I talked about that, comment down below. What did you guys think about the game? Do you guys, are you guys really starting to dislike Yanni Gord as much as I am? Uh, and if you guys like the content I'm producing on the channel, don't forget to hit like and subscribe. And I'll see you fucked up. Wait, could you just do this one successfully? I swear I'm not doing this for attention. I'm trying to have my smoldering charm be what uh, people like, not me failing to figure out when the next Hurricanes game is. I'll see you all Tuesday uh, for the game at Chicago. And uh, if you guys like the content I'm producing on the channel, don't forget to like and subscribe.